Can you love your body even if you're unhappy with how it looks? This is so important to figure out because from what I've seen, it's virtually impossible to hate yourself healthy. You can't hate your body so much and use that hate to get yourself to take action for a long period of time. And so what you want to do is you want to use a sense of love and gratitude for your body to begin driving your new behaviors. Now we all know that we should love our body, right? But knowing we should do it and being able to do it are two totally different things. If you've spent most of your life focusing in on the parts of your body that you're unhappy with, that you don't like how they look, then it's very difficult to get yourself to truly believe that all of a sudden because you're saying you love that part of your body, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel real. So I want to show you how to get to a feeling of genuine love and gratitude for your body. And to do that, we want to understand the deeper paradigm that we're operating out of. Usually when people talk about loving their body and hating their body, it's based on an appearance, right? It's based on how they look. It's a visual thing. And so the parts of their body they don't like is because they don't like how they look, you know, on the outside. And so Again, that, that, that whole area is fine. We'll leave it to the side for a second. In this culture, we're certainly conditioned to focus on the, you know, how we appear and how we look. So we want to go over, though, and how can we change it so that we actually feel a sense of love and gratitude? We can do that by beginning to focus on the functionality of our body. And we can kind of balance out how we perceive it. You know, as we get older, clearly the, the functional part of our bodies becomes much more important than the appearance. And even when you're young, you can still balance this out a bit to start feeling a genuine gratitude for your body. Because what are you grateful for, you know, when it comes to your body? Little things, it doesn't have to be big things, okay? If you have your legs, if you have your arms, if you can see, if you can speak, if you can hear, right? The functionality of your body, the little things, right? I'm not talking, you don't have to be an Olympic athlete, you don't have to be a professional athlete. The little day-to-day -day things, the ability to walk up and down the stairs, get in and out of you know chairs, little things that you can begin to appreciate and love your body for at any moment. Now, I'll give you an idea about the, the power of this. I was working with a client and she did not like how she looked as far as her legs went. She didn't like how her legs looked. And um, we could go so far to say she hated how her legs looked. Right? And, and so, so she carried this around all the time. She was always looking to change how her legs looked. So we went through this process. I said, well, okay, visually you don't like how they look. Let's put that aside for a second. Functionally, what do you love about your legs? Well, now it was, it was very interesting because she could instantly, you could feel the shift. And immediately she said, well, they're strong. And she danced. And she said, I'm able to do things dancing wise because my legs are so strong. And so there was an instant shift of feeling literally like in actually feeling a sense of love not trying to trick herself not saying oh, i love my legs i love how they look i love how they look and not believing it genuinely feeling a sense of, of love for her legs and an appreciation for them and i think when you start to do this when you start to build your your weight loss when you build your, your health you're becoming healthier on this foundation of love and gratitude for what your body can do it makes everything else so much easier as opposed to trying to hate yourself into looking different and then thinking you're going to be happy, you know, at some point, because that, that's a slippery slope, but it, a lot of times it does not work. Okay. So this is the alternative for you. And the other benefit that I think comes from this is that when it's just visual, it's so easy to just focus on what you're eating and exercising. And those are the two main things you'll focus on. And as soon as you make a mistake, it feels like, oh, now I blew it. Now, you know, my body will never look how I want it to look. And when you start looking at it functionally, I think your, your perspective starts to broaden. So it's not just what you're eating and, and how you're exercising. You know, it's the amount of water you're drinking affects how you feel and how you function. The amount of sleep you're getting affects how you feel and how you function. You know, if you're relaxing, if you're stretching, if you're being more active. And so it's a wider range of things that you can focus in on to make yourself feel better. But the key thing is that it's all built on this love for yourself, you know, this love and appreciation for your body. Kind of getting back to the idea that, you know, that your body is your temple. And I think we've gotten real skewed in this culture to focus so much on appearance. And not only that, not only to focus on appearance, but we also set these unrealistic expectations and these unrealistic ideas of what we should look like. And it leads us to nothing but disappointment and upset. And that disappointment and upset leads to more eating and behaviors that make us not look the way we want and not feel the way we want. So 
begin focusing on the functionality of your body, how you feel, how you can move, the, the things that, that you can do, you know, what your body can do, not just what it looks like, okay? Because that's the more important part, ultimately. So remember that and have a great week.